Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, we've got a hot topic that's been buzzing in the football community the latest injury update on Russell Wilson and the burning question on everyone's mind will the Steelers' QB suit up against the Cowboys in week 5? Before we dive into the nitty gritty, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you won't miss any of our weekly updates and analysis. Alright, let's get into it. First things first, let's talk about what's going on with Russell Wilson. We know that injuries can make or break a season for any player, and Wilson's situation is no different. After a tough game last week, he left the field with an injury that has since raised eyebrows and sparked a wave of speculation among fans and analysts alike. So, what exactly happened? During the game against the insert opposing team, Wilson took a hit that seemed innocuous at first glance. But as we've seen time and time again, these innocent hits can lead to serious injuries. Following the game, Wilson was seen with a noticeable limp, and reports indicated he was experiencing discomfort in his. The Steelers immediately conducted an MRI to assess the damage, and thankfully, the initial reports were optimistic. Doctors diagnosed him with a mild sprain, which, while serious, isn't the worst news a team could hear. The team is optimistic about his recovery timeline, but as we all know, the NFL can be unpredictable. Now, let's talk about the recovery process. Russell Wilson is known for his incredible work ethic and commitment to getting back on the field. After all, He's not just any quarterback, he's a leader, a competitor, and a pivotal part of the Steelers' offense. Typically, for a mild sprain, the recovery process can take anywhere from a few days to a couple of weeks, depending on the player's response to treatment. Wilson has already begun a rigorous rehab program, focusing on strengthening the affected area while ensuring he maintains his conditioning. He's been spotted at the facility, working with trainers, and you know he's pushing himself to get back as quickly as possible. But here's the thing while we all want to see him on the field, the coaching staff has to balance that urgency with the long-term health of their star quarterback. Now, let's address the elephant in the room, what happens if Wilson can't go in week 5 against the Cowboys? The Steelers will have to rely on their backup quarterback, insert backup QB's name, who has had some experience but certainly hasn't been under the same spotlight as Wilson. While he's shown flashes of brilliance in previous games, the pressure of starting against a formidable opponent like the Cowboys could be a whole different ballgame. The coaching staff might adopt a more conservative game plan, focusing on a run-heavy offense to take the pressure off the young QB and minimize mistakes. Let's take a step back and consider the bigger picture. Russell Wilson's health isn't just crucial for the upcoming game, it could have a lasting impact on the Steelers' entire season. The Steelers are currently sitting at and a win against the Cowboys could set the tone for the rest of the season. When Wilson is in the lineup, the Steelers average insert average points points per game. In contrast, when he's out, that number dips significantly. If they want to stay competitive in the insert division division, every game counts, and having their star QB on the field is essential. Now, let's pivot and look at the Cowboys. They're coming into this game with their own set of challenges and are certainly not going to underestimate the Steelers, regardless of who is under center. If Wilson plays, they'll have to prepare for his mobility and ability to extend plays. If he doesn't, they'll likely focus on pressuring the backup QB and forcing him into making mistakes. The Cowboys' defense has been formidable this season, and they'll be looking to exploit any weakness in the Steelers' offensive line. If Wilson is in the game, it's essential for him to have solid protection to minimize the chances of further injury and maximize his effectiveness. Alright, fantasy football enthusiasts, this one's for you. Russell Wilson's injury has significant implications for your fantasy rosters. If he's cleared to play, you might want to start him. But if he's out, it might be time to consider your backup options. Now, let's shift gears and analyze the Cowboys' approach. Regardless of whether Wilson plays or not, they'll be preparing for a battle. If Wilson is in, they'll have to account for his ability to escape the pocket and make plays on the run, which adds an extra layer of complexity to their defensive game plan. The Cowboys' defense has been one of the league's more impressive units this season, boasting a strong pass rush led by insert star defender's name. If Wilson is playing, he'll need solid protection from the offensive line to avoid getting hit and risking further injury. However, if the backup quarterback takes the reins, Expect the Cowboys to ramp up their pressure, testing his mettle and forcing him into uncomfortable situations. 
The game plan will likely involve aggressive blitzing and coverage schemes designed to exploit any weaknesses in the Steelers' offense. All right, fantasy football fans, let's dive into how Wilson's injury impacts your lineups. If Wilson is cleared to play, you might want to keep him in your starting position given his track record. However, if he's ruled out, it could be time to consider alternatives. If you're looking for a replacement, consider players like insert QB names, who have favorable matchups in week 5. Be sure to monitor practice reports closely, the news coming out in the days leading up to the game can provide valuable insights for your lineup decisions. Let's take a moment to check in on the fan reaction surrounding Wilson's injury. Social media has been ablaze with thoughts, theories, and speculations. Fans are divided, expressing everything from concern for his health to anxiety about the Steelers' prospects without him. As one fan tweeted, Russell is our only shot at the playoffs. We need him back on the field. Meanwhile, another fan cautioned, I'd rather have him healthy for the long term than rush him back and risk more damage. It's clear the fanbase is passionate and deeply invested in his return. Now, let's address the scenario where Wilson might not be able to go against the Cowboys. In that case, the Steelers would turn to their backup quarterback, insert backup QB's name. He has shown potential but has yet to face a team with the caliber of the Cowboys in a starting role. With the season in full swing, navigating injuries can be tricky. If you're looking for replacements, consider insert QB names, who have favorable matchups in week 5. Keep an eye on practice reports leading up to game day, they can make all the difference. Let's check in on the fan reaction. Social media has been buzzing with opinions about Russell Wilson's injury and what it means for the Steelers. Some fans are optimistic, while others are understandably worried. As one fan tweeted, Russell is the heart of this team. We need him back ASAP. Meanwhile, another fan cautioned, don't rush him back. We need him healthy for the long haul. It's clear that emotions are running high as we await the final decision. As we wrap up this update, the final decision on Russell Wilson's status for week 5 is still pending. We'll keep you updated as new information comes in, so stay tuned to the channel. What do you think? Should the Steelers play it safe and rest him, or should they put him in if he's ready? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow football fans. Until next time, keep your helmets on and your spirits high. I'll see you in the next video.